Rashard Brooks. We're talking about this again. Well, this actually happens a lot. Yeah. But you only hear about it when it's a white police officer and a black guy. Yeah. This happens all the time to white people. You just don't hear about it because, well, <laughs> it's just too much common sense. Anyway, I first learned about this story. They said there was a black guy sleeping in the parking lot at Wendy's, and the cops started messing with him. That's not what happened. Yeah. What happened was— Yeah, you know how mainstream media, when they get something, man, they like to do their creative writing. Yeah, they like to twist around. Man hunted down in, in Wendy's drive through while waiting for his chicken sandwich. Yeah, and um, that's not what happened. Yeah. When you go to sleep, you like lay in the bed, you tired, I'm going to sleep. Nobody yeah. drives to Wendy's, sits in the drive through lane, and goes to sleep. Nobody does that. <laughs> he passed out in the drive through lane. The yeah. dude was drunk. He's drunk. DUI. Which, that's a felony. Should speak volumes. Thousands of people die every year yeah. just because of people like Rayshard. Yeah, so the dude Kids, was, the dude people's was... People's wives, mothers, grandmothers, yeah. people die yeah. because of people like Rayshard. Yeah. So uh, the cops knock on his door. Wake up. Wake up. Get him out the car. They have a nice conversation with Rayshard. Yeah. He was polite. He yeah. was being cordial. And the police officers, they showed a lot of respect towards Rayshard. They wasn't yeah. calling him the N-word or anything. Yeah, they wouldn't be white supremacists like the media portrays police officers. But yeah. Anyway, they do a breathalyzer test, uh, yeah. a field sobriety test. The dude fails miserably. I mean, even when the cops were talking to him, you yeah. could hear his speech was slurred. Yeah. Right? So the cops said, I'm placing you on arrest. You in no condition to drive. Yeah. Put your ass behind your back. And then Mr. Rashad turns into <laughs> like a damn demon got in him. Yeah. Right? Starts assaulting the two police officers. Yeah. Actually punched one cop in the face. Stole his taser. And took his taser. Who punches a cop in the face? That's like punching your 80-year-old grandma in the face. Why would you do that? <laughs> I know who would do that. A damn criminal would do that. That's, a thug. That's like punching a pregnant woman in the stomach. you like, if mainstream media is trying to paint this picture that black men are being hunted down like animals, Obviously, Ray Shard didn't get the memo because if I'm getting pulled over by two white cops, I'm being cordial. Yeah, last thing What's I'm... What's up? You want me to put my hands behind my back and arrest? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, last thing I'm doing is... Bow! Punching him in the face and, and taking, his, taking taser. his taser. The cops actually used restraint. Because they showed a lot of restraint. On man. the ground, he actually goes for the cop's taser and the cops tell him to get his hand off the taser. Yeah. They could have actually... Shot and killed him there. When he stood up, With the taser. he didn't throw the taser away. He he still had it. They could have shot him there. That's two opportunities. These cops had an opportunity to shoot and kill this man. What sealed the deal was when he took off running, yeah. he didn't throw the taser away, yeah. which tells me, he told these police officers, yeah. this dude's going to use this on me. And sure enough, yeah. he turns around. He turns around and points a taser at a cop. Who does that? A thug, a criminal. And they were not practicing social distancing. They was well within six feet. When yeah. he turned around that taser, he planned it on connecting. Yeah. He wanted to get away. Who points a weapon at a police officer? That dude committed like six felonies in seconds. Strong arm robbery, assault and battery. <laughs> DUI. You name it, DUI. It's just he assaulted multiple police officers. Yeah. He probably committed eight felonies. Yeah, and if you want to get technical about it, and it was a shame he he even brought up in the, when he was having a conversation with the cops that yeah. he has three girls and yes, and kid. it's like I wish he had kept that in mind before he punched the cop in the face before and he his stole his taser before he pointed the taser. <sighs> I'm like, look, people are trying to say that. His family just came forward and said these cops should be arrested for murder. Look, I would agree you. I would agree with you if Ray Shaw, when he took off running, if he'd have never turned around and they shot him in the back. Yes. I would agree with you. Yeah. But when he stole the taser, took off running, and turned around and pointed the taser at the officer, that goes out the window. Yeah. That cop has an he he has a right to defend himself because his life matters just as much as Ray Shard's. Ray Shard doesn't care about his life. He doesn't care or anybody about else's life. Yeah. Ray Shard is dead because Ray Shard don't want to follow the rules. Ray Shard don't want to keep his hands to himself. He, Ray Shard doesn't practice self accountability. Yeah. If this guy was if Ray Shard was white, yeah, Wendy's would still be selling chicken sandwiches. They burned the damn Wendy's down. Yeah. I start I'm starting to get it now. 
Black Lives Matter, all that, I'm starting to get it now. Y'all don't care that the officers was in the right. Y'all don't care that the black man, Ray Shaw, was committing a crime. All y'all care about is two white police officers killed another black man. That's all y'all care about. Y'all don't care about the facts of the incident that would occur. Y'all don't care. All y'all care about is that cops are white. Yeah. Um, You're blinded by color. Yeah. That's, that's the problem with Black Lives Matter and the yeah. people who support them. You let... Uh, race, you let race cloud your judgment. You need to be objective and look at the facts of this incident. Like yeah. Candace Owens brought up, uh, she did a video on Facebook and went viral, yeah. and she and she made valid points. It wasn't it wasn't opinions. She made valid points. It's a valid fact. facts. Yeah, she said the black community is the only commu community who will protest justified shootings. They will they will protest criminals. Thugs. Doing criminal activity, interacting with police officers, and they will protest their death. Like white people, they ain't protesting this. Yeah, they they, they see this, they be like, man, this dude had this coming. Yeah, and these cops are not racist thugs or hunting down black folks, man. Yeah. They gave, they showed so much restraint. I wish all cops will show this much restraint as these two police officers. Because they had every opportunity to kill that man before he even took off running. Yeah. Every opportunity. They showed more restraint than most police officers. And these men have been fired. The mayor has not did anything for these two men. Yeah. Spotless mayor. What's the name? Bottoms? <laughs> what a name for a mayor. <laughs> Sound like a stripper. <laughs> And these two cops have been fired, man. Well, they're gonna probably get the jobs back. I'm thinking. It shouldn't even never got to that point. <laughs> they gotta fight for that. I job. mean, what do the cop? I mean, the only way cops can you can end these shootings is if these cops get these damn like that damn predator shooting them damn nets at people. <laughs> <laughs> that covers the whole body Just up. Cover the whole body up. Until then, I mean, <laughs> why don't y'all put this out there to people who interact with cops? Look, when you resist arrest, yeah. When you take police officers' guns, yeah. when you take their tasers, pra you're putting your life at risk. Practice some self-accountability. An ounce of prevention is worth a, a pound of care. Don't drink and drive. Don't break the law. Do the right thing. Read a Bible from time to time. Yeah. You know? Don't punch your and, in the face. And people, especially white people with your white guilt, you keep supporting this organization, Black Lives Matter. Look where all those donations are going. It's not going to black people. It's not going to black schools. It's not going to black communities. It's not helping black people. All that money that's going to Black Lives Matter is being donated to politicians, Democrats, not black people. You are supporting a lie, and it's only hurting black folks. Yeah. Go to officialharvestwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again.